So do y'all want to know about my hair? Do y'all want to know about my hair? Hair, hair. Alright, so today's video is going to be a wig review. So, today's wig we will be using the Free Tress Equal Lace Front freedom part wig and this is in the style okay let me stop being so extra no you guys so we're gonna take the free chest equal freedom part lace front wig and yeah it is 201 if you're wondering that is the style number I guess I've never had a number so this is my first number so and I have it in the color one jet black and this is the model you see how you see how you see her yes y'all we about to <laughs> slay this wig i feel like i never had the packaging for you guys when i come into my wig so your girl got the package and it's coming straight out the package haven't even opened it so all on candy camera look at that <laughs> look at this <laughs> yay so yeah, it is the Freedom Part Lace 201. It comes in a diff a range of different colors. 1, 1B, one 2, 4, OT, 27, OT, 30, and OT, 530. And I just have the number one. Great packaging. Okay. Packaging, you know, you know. It's not no Brazilian, but I mean, they treat me like it is. So, hey, this is a synthetic wig. Let me take off this loud paper. Okay, so it has like this wrap on it. So, I'm playing no game. So, it's so soft, y'all. This, <laughs> this wig is soft. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, straight out the package. Straight out the package. Bam. Bam. It's not super long. Um, it's about a 16, 18, probably 16 on me. Um, it has the lace at the front, soft lace, whatever you want to call that, with the two combs in the front, and then it has one at the back. And, of course, the straps. Now, I can tell you, if you got a big head like me, this wig is for you. <laughs> okay guys, so I went ahead and cut the lace off. And now I'm just showing you that part. It's about 4 inches. So you got a lot of parts to work with. And that's what it's looking like right now before I tweak it or anything. Doesn't necessarily need to be plucked. The part is actually pretty wide. So I'm going to take my concealer brush and whatever's left on it and dip that in there. So another trick that I like to do for my lace little wigs, you see that lace that did not get cut off? I go in with a black pencil um, it can be a black eyeliner pencil it can be mascara whatever is easy and dries quick I don't know and I'm gonna go in and kind of color that because I don't want that showing and if you accidentally get like concealer on the wig you can go in with your mascara brush that's what I do or you can take a different brush and just go in your mascara and do your hair so you can get that black back on it and the concealer off it so the way I put on my wig I'm gonna take my wig cap I just use a black cap push up these braids Put the comb in the back on first. I'm 
my parting I like to keep a part in the middle because that's typically how I wear my wigs and now this wig has shed I don't know if it's because I cut some of the baby hairs when I was cutting the lace in the front oh I feel like I haven't had black like jet black hair in so long like my hair is black but it's like a brown black it's not like super black I just my part too just because I kind of like to have my part in line with the wig I'm gonna go in with some more concealer that matches like my skin Concealer on the actual wig. You just go in and take. All right, and I'm just going to go part. I'm gonna come, go get a comb, and I'll. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just try to start my part. I'm gonna try that at home. <laughs> so like that, and I'm also going to. Take a little water just so this can lay like since I had that sleek press wig I want all my wigs to lay flat <laughs> and I'm just gonna try to sleek it down all right so I got my water bottle so it's just water in this bottle and I'm going to spray a little bit right there and then we like about 16 inches in the back. It's probably probably 18 inches but I feel like it looks like a 16 on me because I am tall so it kind of feels like a 16 inch to me. Um, the hair is not super thick, which I personally like because it gives me like that natural feel. It's super duper soft. Like this hair is so soft, but it's not like soft and shiny. You know that real shiny hair that's super soft. It feels like it, but it, it doesn't look like it, which is a good thing to me. It does shed, actually sheds more than um, any wig that I probably had thus far on initial like take out it, it sheds pretty pretty steep <laughs> pretty steep oh no y'all sometimes I just be talking um but yeah do I hate it no do I love it mm, not on first wear I don't love it I like it though but first take first thought it's not bad. Um, honestly, it's not bad. It's a really cute wig. The parting is pretty cool. Um, just a little tweaking that I normally do to all of my wigs. So nothing, you know, super crazy as the ordinary. I feel like I have to get used to this black, y'all. I don't know what it is. I haven't had black hair in a, in a minute. Besides my normal hair, but it ain't been down. So, yeah. Um... What do you guys think about this wig? Tell me what you guys think. It does move, you guys, but I don't I don't wear side parts when I have on wigs. They just don't look right on me, to me. Um I would wear it just like this middle part. So I don't even want to show you guys the side part because I know I'm not gonna wear it as a side part. Well, you know, you know what? You never know. Let me see. So I can basically, so this is what it means when it's like a free part. You can switch it from middle part to side part to the other side, things like that. Doesn't necessarily mean you can part it any kind of way. It just, it's movable. <laughs> um, like that side part ain't popping because, you know, I'm not 
I'm not laying it right, but if I had my part over there, um, I wouldn't mind wearing it as a side. It's not actually, it's not, it's not bad as a side, but my part is not there, and y'all know how I like to do my wigs. So this wig does have baby hairs as well. So if you like to, you know, rock the baby hairs, it has that. Um, I think I cut most of mine off. But there's some <laughs> for the most part. But yeah, you guys, this wig is not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's cute. But let me wear it for a couple of weeks. Let me give you guys my honest opinion in a couple of weeks. But so far, it's not bad. That's all I can say. It's not bad. But I want to give you guys my honest opinion. So we're going to wear this wig a little bit. And I'll come back and let you guys know what I think about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave for more wig reviews, makeup tutorials, beauty videos, budgeting video, lifestyle videos. You name it. We got it on this channel. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.